Happy New Year everyone. Welcome to Minor Charlotte's first ever couples Q&A. I asked you guys on Instagram this morning to give us some questions and we got a load of questions so thank you very much for those. We're going to go through them right now and not going to waste any more of your time. We'll get straight to them. So yeah, we've actually got 94 questions from you guys which is really awesome. Thank you so much. First question, are you planning to have children? Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is something that we have like discussed in a lot of depth. Yeah. <laughs> and we we have a definitive answer. We had a definitive answer 10 years ago really, didn't we? Yeah, probably from our uh, from our second date. <laughs> yeah, second date. On the on the very on our very second date, Charlotte said to me that she's not interested in having kids. And at the time, I thought that's great because I'm not either. And nearly 10 years later, Nothing has changed for either of we us. We still feel the same. Yeah, like we don't, we we, we don't want kids. Um, it's just it's nothing against other people who do want kids or kids themselves. Like we just, uh, it's not for us. No, yeah. I'd love to have more animals though. Yeah, I mean we do actually already have two children called Lily and Tula. <laughs> they just don't say a lot. They just meow. <laughs> but no, may, maybe more cats someday. Oh, I'd you lo- did I'd want a micro pig I'd love for a, a micro pig. Yeah. But I feel like that's not going to happen. Yeah. Some rats? Chinchillas? Ferrets? Puppies? <laughs> <laughs> there were quite a few questions asking, are we married? The answer is yes. <laughs> we are married. We've been married now to... Um, Three quarter. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was in June of twenty fourteen, so however, however long that is, that's two and three quarters, roughly in there. Yeah. And it was the best day of um of my life. The bestest. Okay. Next question: Puppies or kittens? Why not both? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Why not both? <laughs> you know the answer. The, the 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 answer that I would give. Do you want me to give your answer? Yeah. Well, I think ideally for Joe, it would be neither. He likes cats, but he's not that fond of kittens. But I know for definite, there'd be no puppies because you are terrified yeah, of basically, dogs in general. Like, I don't know why really, but well, I never grew up with a dog in the house. You had a couple of dogs yeah. growing up, didn't you? I never had any dogs, but we did have cats. Um and I've just always been absolutely petrified of dogs. And then at some point, I don't know how old I was, but a dog did bite me in the streets. It was only a little one, but it still bit me. Like, <laughs> And it uh, it lashed onto my leg and it wouldn't let go. And I was trying to shake it off and it wouldn't. And, and the guy that owned him was just sat there watching the whole thing. So that didn't do anything to help my fear of dogs. So anyway, I'm petrified of dogs. So I, I, I could never have a dog. Even a puppy, really, I'm scared of. <laughs> they're just too, like, manic. Like, they're too, they're, they're you know, like, wow, wow, wow. Well, not Jess's dogs. Oh, actually, that's true, yeah. Yeah, my sister's dogs, we were around them on Christmas Day, and they were quite um, agreeable, like. Agreeable? <laughs> yeah. They were agreeable. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard dogs being described as agreeable. <laughs> they were, they, actually, I don't think I heard them back once. No. They were really good. They were very mellow. Yeah, mellow. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Not agreeable. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm scared of dogs. Kittens. I, I like cats. Um, but I find kittens to be they super energetic and they, um, they've always got their clothes out. Like. So lazy animals only <laughs> need apply. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I guess a sloth would be a good choice for me. Because <laughs> yeah. they, they move so slowly. <laughs> I would always know when they were when they were coming, like. <laughs> <laughs> rather than like a puppy or something, which is just pounce pounce on your face, like, and you don't even know it. You haven't got time to react. <laughs> don't take this as me like hating cats and dogs or puppies and kittens. I'm just scared of them, but they they're lovely. That's the gist of it. Okay, so there's a question: Is Charlotte planning to write stories? I am not, because. I don't think I would be very good at writing like fictional stories, but
but I am planning on starting a blog. If that counts, that does count as writing, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you'd be writing true stories. Yeah, so I'd be doing non-fiction, but in regards to writing episode stories, that probably won't happen. I don't think I've got enough like ideas or brain capacity <laughs> to, <laughs> to keep thinking up stories. Okay, so how long have you been a couple and what are your professions? So how long have we been a couple? We have been a couple for nearly 10 years. Uh, well, it's um, how many days away now? Uh, it was the 22nd of January. So tw- in, in 20 days? 20 days. Yeah, 22nd of January, 2007. So, yeah, like by just a few days, 10 years. And what are our professions? Well, I think you guys know what mine is. <laughs> <laughs> what is your profession? Uh, so at the moment, I'm working as a beauty assistant on a beauty counter in Marks and Spencers. I do people's makeup, things like that. Um, Also on the side, I'm trying to start up my YouTube and I'm hoping this year to start my blog. Uh, Where do you want to travel? What did you think when you saw each other for the first time? Uh, By the way, you are a really cute couple. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. So where do you want to travel? You go first. Um, I've uh, I've always wanted to go travelling. We are planning planning on it at some point yeah at some points in, uh, in the future in i mean the future? at the moment you're tied to max and spencer because mm. you're in a contract with them uh so we can't really go traveling right now but hopefully if uh things go well with youtube and your blog um we might be able to kind of free up our time to do things like that and um and yeah work remotely the both of us um, so places I want to travel. I'd love to travel to Australia. Um, I've always wanted to travel all around America. That to me, I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I would love to go around America as well. Yeah, and Australia. Yeah, that'd be great. And then probably places in Europe, like Italy. Yeah. Places, yeah, places like that. Because, yeah, I've been to Italy. You haven't been to Italy no. yet. Um, and, yeah, I loved Italy. It was brilliant. I would love to go to Japan one day because I've always been really interested in Japanese culture. And growing up, I was, like, a big, like, anime fan and, obviously, video games fan. And especially Japanese video games, JRPGs and stuff and Japanese fighting games, so uh, that's why I've always had an interest in Japan. Although I am a little bit scared about, like, the natural disaster side of things, because I know Japan is prone to earthquakes and tsunamis and stuff. So that scares me a little bit. But aside from that, I would love to go. And you did learn a bit of Japanese before? I learned a tiny bit of Japanese. Go on, say it. Oh, really? <laughs> um, say it. <laughs> Oh, it's been so long. Konnichiwa, Hajime Mashite, Watashi wa Joe des, Anata wa Kirei des. I have no idea what that means, but. <laughs> I'm going to look it up after this video and see if that's correct. Whatever I said, I'll put as subtitles. So we'll see. <laughs> what did you think when you saw each other for the first time? Well, <laughs> when I uh, when I saw you for the first time, I mean, I always talk about this, but when I saw Charlotte for the first time, I was working in Waterstones, a bookshop, and I was standing behind the tills, and Charlotte was sat on the staircase to my right. And I remember just, like, looking over like that because I could see somebody in the corner where I sat on the, on the staircase... And I, I immediately did like a double take because I was like, whoa. I was like, that girl is absolutely beautiful. Aww. And yeah, I, I I was like taken aback. So my first thought was like, how beautiful you are. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, yeah, the first time that I seen you... Um, I mean, it wasn't that time 
I I had seen you before that, um, but again, it was in uh, Waterstones, and um, you were behind the till, again. Um, and yeah, I just, I just remember looking at you. Everything else seemed to like completely just like melt away, and I just thought, wow, <laughs> <laughs> that is the most gorgeous guy I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, look at this getting all soppy. <laughs> <laughs> so to carry on from the last question, uh, we have another one saying, how did you guys meet? So we'll go into it in a little bit more detail. Uh, so that was the first time, like I just said then, that I ever saw Charlotte when she was sat on the, the staircase of Waterstones, which was the bookshop where I worked at the time. And yeah, that was, I didn't realise at the time that that wasn't the first time that Charlotte had seen me. I already knew of you. <laughs> I mean, I think we probably started to like meet and get to know each other when I started working. Because what, what happened was I saw Charlotte sitting on the staircase at, at that point in time. And then after that, I didn't see her for, was it a year? Something like that. Yeah, something Maybe like close that. to a year. And uh, during that time, I kept thinking about her. And I thought, I wonder if I'll ever see her again. We didn't get to speak at all like that day when I saw her on the staircase. What happened then was one day, Charlotte walked into the staff room and I was sat down in the staff room and I was like, oh my God, this is the girl from <laughs> the staircase. And one of our colleagues introduced Charlotte to me saying, oh, Joe, this is Charlotte. She's uh, going to be a new member of staff. I, I, I wasn't stalking him, I promise. I know, <laughs> I know how it probably looks. <laughs> but I honestly wasn't stalking him. <laughs> yeah, and then we just, like, obviously got to talking in work. And, like, every time... I, I used to finish before Charlotte. So every time... Because she worked on the top floor and I worked on the bottom floor. So we didn't actually work together that much, do we? No. There was a little bit of crossover where, like... Well, I actually... <laughs> The, 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 the main crossover was when you were sent down to the bottom floor so I could train Charlotte up on the tills. And I was so useless, so useless at my job that I trained you up with just all wrong information. And, and then you got like pulled up on it. I'm saying, they were saying like, who, who on earth ta taught you this rubbish? Like, and it was me. <laughs> so you were doing orders wrong and everything. And uh, I mean, obviously, so was I. But they, they basically, they were just used to me messing things up <laughs> um but yeah we didn't actually work on the same floors so every day when i would finish a bit earlier than you would i would walk out of the staff room to go back downstairs to, to leave the place but i would hope that you would be kind of like hanging around the stairs area so i could like catch you on my way out and have a conversation with you and uh yeah i would hang around <laughs> I, uh, knowing when, when Joe would finish, I would hang around and wait so that he would have to pass me so he would have to talk to me. So, <laughs> so basically we were both engineering <laughs> yeah. the situation so we would cross each other's paths without it looking too deliberate. Even though it was deliberate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we would uh, have a nice conversation then every day after work. Basically... I was like super nervous to ask Charlotte out on a date, even though I was like trying to psych myself up to do it for ages because I really wanted to ask her out on a date, but I was really nervous. And then we bumped into each other on, on the bus one day and Charlotte was going to the cinema with her friends. And then I text her afterwards saying, how was the film or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. And then you had said, oh, it wasn't that, that great. And I, I said, oh, you should go and see um, Apocalypto, which is the uh, kind of one set in the Amazonian jungle, Aztec jungle kind of thing, with the, uh, the, the ancient Mayans, which was like a really like brutal film, like quite a violent film. Yeah, and then you said... Um, um, <laughs> what did you say to me? I said, oh, well, okay, you, you take me then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, and that's how it happened. <laughs> I ended up taking Charlotte to see uh, Apocalypto. Probably the most violent first date film ever. That was the start of our 10-year love story. Another question. How did I propose to Charlotte? So I proposed by... We went to Tenerife on holiday. 
and I already had the ring. I bought the ring in advance. I um, was really worried going through customs because I thought they were going to rip my bag apart and, and pull out the ring and ruin the whole surprise. But luckily they didn't. And uh, I took the ring to Tenerife. We went down to the beach one day. And, well, to begin with, I was acting very strange the whole day because I was... I really wanted like the moment to be like super perfect, didn't I? I, I thought he'd lost the plot completely. Yeah, yeah, because I Charlotte didn't know anything about what was happening. She didn't know why I was acting weird that day, and um, I was just like thinking I because I wanted to write "Will you marry me" in the sand on the beach. So I was thinking, well, I gotta get it so the tide is at the right so the right points, so the tide's out, and also that there was like a sunset at the same time, and I wanted to light candles on the beach and everything. So anyway, I was like super stressed about trying to get it all perfect. And then we went down to the beach at uh, Sundown. Yeah, and luckily there was just about enough room in the sand for me to write, uh, Charlotte, will you marry me? So I asked Charlotte to close her eyes for a moment. And you did because you were just scared about what I was, yeah, what I was up to. No, normally, I think I I probably, well, I might have cottoned on. Yeah. Or I might have just said, like, no, what, what, why are you asking me to turn around and close my eyes? Um, she said you were going to do a, a sand sculpture. Yeah, that's right. I said, I said oh, close your eyes a minute. I'm going to build a, a little sand sculpture and I'll show you when I'm finished. Um, like I assumed he was going to write something like Joe loves Charlotte in the sand, something like that. And I thought, well, th- this seems like really excessive <laughs> just for that. But he, he had been acting weird all day and I thought I didn't want to tip him off the edge by saying no. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I turned around and did and I was just thinking, like, I'm not sure what is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, well, because it took me a long time to set the whole thing up. So you had your eyes closed for quite a while, didn't you? And yeah. you said at one point, you thought but, I'd just gone and left. But yeah, for, for, for a brief <laughs> moment, I thought this is some kind of joke and he's actually like run off and I'm just, I'm just stood on the beach. I would never like, have done that. Like a pleb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With my eyes closed. <laughs> but no, it was, it was just like a split second, but I thought, no, I know you'd, you'd never, you'd never do that no. to me. But no, I just thought you, you were particularly stressed at that point And I thought I'll just go along with whatever. Yeah, so I uh, I spent that time writing Charlotte, will you marry me, into the sand. And then I walked over to Charlotte and I took you by the hand to, to kind of closer to where I was and turned you around. And then I, I got the ring out in the box like that. And I went on a one knee and kneeled down next to what I'd written. And then I told you to open your eyes, wasn't it? Yeah. I said, Charlotte, will you marry me? And she made me the happiest guy alive by saying yes. <laughs> Next question. Uh, where did we go for our honeymoon? Uh, we actually went back to Tenerife for our honeymoon. Um, so we've been there quite a few times now, haven't we? Yeah. To Tenerife. So basically, we the only place we've been together apart from Mallorca is Tenerife. And we go there every year. We, we absolutely love it. Yeah, so obviously Joe proposed in Tenerife. And then we went on our honeymoon to Tenerife. And I think we're going to make it a, like the tradition now that we go back to Tenerife around the time of our wedding anniversary then as well. So it's like yeah. full circle. And every time we go back to the same restaurant. So after I proposed, we went to this restaurant and then on our honeymoon, we went back to the same one again for like nostalgia reasons. And then every year going ahead now, I think we're going to go back to Tenerife around our wedding anniversary. And on the actual evening on of our wedding anniversary, we're going to go to that same restaurant that we went to just after I proposed. Next question, what was your wedding day like? It was awesome. It was the best day ever. Yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Like I said earlier, uh, it was the uh, the best day of my life. And yeah, it was like so stressful in the run up to it, wasn't it? Because yeah. there was like so many things to organise and trying to get everything to come together all at the same time on the one day. So it was kind of like, it was a mixture of like euphoria from us actually getting married and also like the relief of having that stress be over with. Yeah, that yeah. Ev- everything just like ran smoothly and... Everyone enjoyed themselves. Yeah. I mean, if we really thought about it, like there was actually like quite a few things that went wrong on the day. But because 
it was like so overwhelmingly just like positive yeah none of it matters so like somebody accidentally spilled like a whole plate of food on charlotte's wedding dress <laughs> but be- this was kind of like towards the um the end of the yeah. day but it was still it was still like a good few hours left and charlotte had like a full plate of like Chinese food. It was like... I think there was like sweet chilli sauce. Sweet chilli sauce on Charlotte's wedding dress <laughs> on the actual wedding day as she was wearing it. But I, I just didn't... I just didn't care. Yeah. It was... I, I was just so happy that... Yeah, nothing was... Fa- I think everyone else was getting more stressed about it. Yeah. Than what I was. Everyone else was like, oh my God, like we need to clean this up. And I was like, yeah. You had a full team, like just suddenly just rushed <laughs> yeah. you, didn't you? And was people were like scrubbing it off and like... Yeah, it's, it was right at the bottom. So it wasn't like it was down, like my no. front or something. It was like it was right the at the trail. bottom. So I thought, well, you know, it was, it was going to to spill that. Yeah. What does Charlotte think about your author career? Yeah, I, I think it's great. I've always thought... That it was a good idea. It's something that Joe has always been passionate about, and I don't know. He said, when when he said that he wants to start writing, there was like nothing in my mind that ever thought, "Oh no, he can't do it." I've I've always believed that he can do it. Yeah. Um, you've got you've got the passion behind it, the like the drive, the determination. So uh, anything that he puts his mind to. Like he always gets done. So yeah, I I say follow your dreams because I I am a firm believer that there's no point in having a job or doing something just so that you just so you have money if you're not happy doing it. Obviously, I know bills have to be paid, so certain amounts of sacrifices do have to be made. But if you can do something that you love doing, then I say just go like just go for it. Yeah. Basically, because the, there's you you could have been working in like motion graphics. Yeah, my degree in university was in graphic design, uh, like animated graphics, and I did a little bit of that to begin with when I left uni, and I really my heart wasn't in it. So I knew that like I really wanted to be a writer, but I knew it was going to be a struggle to try and make any money from writing. But, you know, I did it anyway. And, yeah, basically you were the original person that supported me, like, completely and utterly 100%. So thank you. Well, I, I had no doubt that you could make it, so. Do you prefer classic or ink? <laughs> oh, I, was, <laughs> I was really confused, but... Um, but I, I didn't think you'd know what, what that even I, means. I would have to say classic. Oh, that's going to be a popular answer. Yeah. Okay, here's one. Tea or coffee? Ooh. I mean, well, here's the thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a long story. <laughs> here's the thing. Get settled down. Um, I am not a fan of hot drinks. Um, I, oh, I hate hot tea. Oh, a little bit. Um... Yeah, I mean, if I had to choose, but like, which one I'd rather drink hot, then it would have to be coffee because I can't stand hot tea. It's just, oh. And I love a cup of tea. <laughs> um, so I like my drinks cold. So I love having um, iced coffees, and recently I have loved having iced teas. Yeah. So that it, it depends what mood I'm in, really. If I if I feel like I really need a boost of caffeine, then it'll be an iced coffee. But if I'm just more like, you know, in more of like a mellow mood, chilled mood, then it'll be an iced tea. But I can't, I can't have hot drinks. I really can't. It just... You don't mind a hot chocolate, do you? Yeah. If it's cold in winter, like... Yeah, I don't mind a hot chocolate, but even I don't even think I've had that many... No, you don't have... I, often, I, I don't no. even have um, that many hot chocolates, even. Uh, oh, I did really enjoy um, in Costa for their, like, their seasonal drinks. They did a uh, hot spiced apple drink. Oh, yeah. That was really nice. Yeah. That was really nice. Well, you know probably which one out of coffee and tea that I prefer, don't you? Yeah. I'll say that you're you're more of a tea 
you're, you're like a I do tea love pot. my yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah tea addict yeah I drink uh, tea in some form or other every day like hot tea um very rarely drink coffee to be honest I do like the taste of coffee I I, I went through a phase of drinking coffee in the mornings didn't I yeah but um to be honest I find coffee like to be like stronger in caffeine content and it makes my heart race and I don't like the sensation of it so yeah tea is my thing um recently I've been drinking loads of peppermint tea haven't I yeah um which I enjoy and like different like herbal teas and even though Charlotte hates hot tea and hot coffee and we've been together for nearly 10 years my mum my nan (laughs) all of my family still every every Uh time that we're with them still to this day say Charlotte do you want a cup of tea (laughs) <laughs> do, you want a, do, you want a, do you want a coffee? Do you want a cup of tea? Well, I mean, I like feeling, you know, part of the group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think, like, offering someone a cup of tea, especially here in the UK, is so ingrained into, like, everybody's, it, like, psych that, like, it's... It, the, the fact that you never, ever want a hot drink, just nobody can comprehend it. Like. No, it, does, it doesn't enter into people's mind. It's such, like, a British thing. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. a cup of tea? That's the first thing you say mm-hmm. in Britain. Like if somebody walks into your house, say, do you want a cup of tea? Even though I've lint rolled my whole body today, I'm still covered in cat ears because our cats like absolutely like molt everywhere. Don't they? I think you should just give up the fight. Yeah, it's a, uh, I'm fighting a losing battle. What is a trait of your partner you value the most and can be both physical and emotional? Well, that's quite a deep question, isn't it? The trait that I love most, like the most in you, probably has to be like your, um, your like passion or like drive, like for life. But yeah, I think I I just I relate to people, like a lot more who, like have like uh like a goal, in life like ambition and that they know what they want and they're going for it. For an example, like your author career. You, you you decided you wanted to be a writer and you didn't give up on it. That's probably the trait that I love about you the most is that you know what you want and you go for it and you just keep going for it until you get it. Yeah. I think the trait that I love the most in you is your... Uh, g- what's the word? Gen- genuinity? Is that a word? Ge- being genuine. Whatever Whatever the word for being genuine is. I, I, I don't think it's genuinity, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That sounds like a good word. What, like, <laughs> I think that's what I, like, kind of, like... Obviously, like I said earlier, I thought you were absolutely, like, stunning when I first saw you, but obviously I didn't know your personality at that point. Yeah. But as soon as I started talking to you, I could just, like, tell how, like, genuine you were. It was like, there was no no nonsense. Like, it was just... I could just tell that everything you were saying, you meant... And yeah. there was no, like, falseness. Yeah. yeah, no, like, lack of falseness. Like, you, you you didn't put on any kind of pretense or anything like that. It, it felt like I was talking to you. And I, I could see who you were straight away kind of thing. And that was definitely, like, one of the original things that, like, I really, like, fell in love with about you. And that's something that I think is one of, like, the main things that that I love in you now as well. What was your most embarrassing yet funny moment together? Well, <laughs> I mean, Charlotte Aww. did get like quite drunk in Tenerife. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to live this down. Basically, Charlotte like, was drinking, um, what was it? Southern Comfort and lemonade in Tenerife. It's the devil's drink. Yeah, we went out clubbing and then... We had some more Southern Comfort, did we? Yeah. Because, yeah, we were drinking Southern Comfort in the apartment. Then we went out at more Southern Comfort. Free gaming. Yeah. And then when we got into a different place, Charlotte was absolutely patched. So I, I, did I go to the toilet or something? Or I was, look, <laughs> I was just <laughs> looking away. And um, Charlotte ordered two, mm. what was it? Two double vodkas and, and Coke. Coke at the bar and just, like, downed them. Because she was so thirsty. Yeah, I, I was, like, drunk by this point. I think that this this is the thing that I, I remember, like, that, yeah, I was I was feeling, like, drunk at that point, and I felt really thirsty. But because my mind wasn't at its best, 
rather than ask for a glass of water. I was just like, oh, I'm so thirsty. And to be honest, I couldn't even taste the vodka in the drink at that point. So I think yeah. I, I, was, I was already gone. <laughs> well, I, I was like quite drunk as well. I wasn't quite as bad as you. So at least I was able to look after you because you were quite ill afterwards. Yeah, like literally felt like everything, like the whole world was moving. So we left the club and then we were like, oh, let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> and, you do. <laughs> and so we went to McDonald's and you said you were going to the toilet. So you went upstairs to the toilet and I went to the counter and bought our food. And then all I remember is standing there <laughs> with with a tray of like burger and chips and stuff. And I and then I, I was just like looking down on the floor <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, my God, this place is stinking because there was like like hundreds of chips on the floor. <laughs> And I was thinking, who, who spilled those? And then I looked at my tray and there was only one portion of chips on it when I bought two. So it was me, I had spilt them and I didn't even know. And anyway, then hmm. I sat down outside and was waiting for you and you were gone for ages, weren't you? To me, it honestly felt like two minutes. I, I thought that I'd been so quick. Yeah, and I was getting quite worried anyway. Um, but by the time I was like going to come up and check on you, you came down and then... You said you had been sick in the toilet, wasn't it? Yeah. We were sat outside. <laughs> I had already kind of like spilled chips all over the inside <laughs> of the place. And then when you sat down opposite me, you didn't even eat any food. You just leaned over the chair and then was sick again all, all over the floor, wasn't it? I'm so sorry, McDonald's. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> on, behalf of, uh, on behalf of us both, like, we're so sorry. I mean, we never, we never usually act like that. No, we really yeah. don't. That was a v- very one-off. one-off. Like, we've never got that drunk since. No. Well, I have, but you haven't. So that, that's got to be probably our, like, joint most embarrassing moment, haven't yeah. it? Yeah. Got to be. Yeah. Most embarrassing and most, like, humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> but only brought on by our, our own stupidity. The next day, I felt quite perky, though. Well, yeah, you, yeah, you felt all right the next day. Yeah, I was all right. I felt absolutely destroyed because I've always had like terrible hangovers. But for some reason, we went out for lunch. And for lunch, I decided <laughs> for some weird reason to order a spaghetti carbonara. It's quite which is like random hangover food. Yeah, like one of the richest things I could have thought to have like ordered. And I only ate a few mouthfuls of it and I was nearly being sick myself then. It's like cream and egg and bacon and all sorts in there. <laughs> Don't drink it. Yeah, especially not Southern Comfort. Drink responsibly, and only when you have legal age. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Is Charlotte a science fiction fan like you, or does she prefer more down to earth stories? Ooh, well, this is a hard one. I I really enjoy um like crime thriller novel and horror stories. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, you you love Game of Thrones. Yeah, I love Game of Thrones. Is that more fantasy, though? Yeah, more fantasy rather than science yeah, fiction. Yeah, yeah. I suppose, to be honest, probably I'm not, like, the most, like, science fiction, like, fan. Usually it's fan, like, Harry Potter's Dusk is fantasy as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it would probably be, like, the, like, fantasy genre, um, crime thriller and horror is what I usually go for. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you you hate a lot of the science fiction movies that we've seen, don't you? Like, you hated yeah. Interstellar. And, yeah, um, I, I just, yeah. I just stuff like that, I which I wasn't in, first on either, but... Yeah, I just can't get into a lot of, like, science fiction. I think it's because I struggle to understand it. I think, I think that's more, like, the more yeah. of, of it. And yet we saw Arrival recently and you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. But I feel like that wasn't too hard to follow. Yeah, yeah. Like, or Interstellar, I found, I just couldn't understand that at all. Yeah. So I just sat there feeling bored because I couldn't figure it out. And you're not a big fan of, like, the Marvel superhero stuff at all, are you? No, I'm not, no. Like, I, I, can, I can just about, like, watch things like X-Men um like the ones which is slightly more like actiony like like fight scenes going on yeah but yeah like i'm not i'm not really a huge fan of it yeah i think your favorite type of movie at least is comedy isn't it yeah definitely comedy 
he did used to be horror when we when we first met. I used, yeah. I used to I loved horror films and you absolutely hated them. Yeah, so I, probably the reason why you don't watch many horror films now is just because I'm always with you <laughs> and I, yeah. I, I, I I'm I not a big fan of horror films. I love a good horror film like all all the screams. I love all those like slash. Yeah. Oh, the, the screen films were good, actually. We watched yeah. all those together, didn't we? Um, House of Wax. And we've been enjoying Screen Queens. Yeah. But that is way more comedy than horror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think... Um, oh, what was it? Well, we did watch some of the Saw films. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, like, uh, to be fair, towards like the later ones, I even I couldn't really stomach them anymore. But I yeah. think even like when we would watch like, the, like, the first one... I, I I actually I quite enjoyed the first one. Yeah, the first one was good. Yeah, although yeah, I I just I, I this is coming from a guy that was scared by ET, like as a kid. ET is so cute. Like I I I couldn't watch ET because I was petrified by ET because he was so like weird looking. <laughs> so if I'm scared by ET, then you can see why I don't like horror films. And yet in my episode stories. They they get like really dark. Like they they are like really dark in places, isn't it? Have you ever thought of adding your wife as a character in your stories, perhaps in some random scenes? Well, <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not sure that you would want that, <laughs> would you? I wouldn't mind it. Although, would I be killed off? No, well, that's the question. No, no, definitely not. Well, someone actually made their own episode story of us of, of, of oh, us meeting yeah. each other, didn't you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was quite surreal. Um, but yeah, I, I could put you into a story. Don't worry, I, I, won't, uh, I won't use my power <laughs> 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 that way. Well, basically, look out in the next few <laughs> chapters of The Secret of Rain for someone called Charlotte. <laughs> I will have to rewrite the whole story now. What is your guy's favourite food? Your favourite food. So, yeah, let's see if we can answer each other's questions, shall we? So, are yeah, we, if you we, want to guess what no, my favourite food is. Are we talking about, like, food is in, like, a single item of food? Or are we talking about a meal, like, let less... Yeah, okay. Um, should we say a meal? A meal. Oh, you are going to be happy because you, cha- you change your mind so often. I know. I Actually, I don't even know what my own is. Oh. <laughs> so, so it's useless you trying to guess. I don't even have the right answer myself. But I know exactly what Charlotte is. Charlotte's favourite meal is my homemade spaghetti bolognese. It is the best. It, it is the best. Um, oh, yours. Because I was going to say something which had like like sea bass, some kind of like fish. Yeah. As a mi- <laughs> I, don't, I Honestly, I don't know. Because <laughs> so, like, you do, you do I, like I do fish. like sea bass, yeah, yeah. I do like, uh, yeah, I like all, like, all like fish. fish in general. I do um, love squid. You or you love Italian foods. Uh, yeah, basically so, like ca- any, like anything like pasta based. Like yeah. Tomatoey or like olivey pasta based. Yeah. Well, we both do really. We both love like just Mediterranean, like a Mediterranean diet, um, which is also luckily one of the healthiest kind of diets you can follow in the world, isn't it? Um, loads of olive oil, lots of olives, lots of tomatoes, lots of like fresh veg, like peppers and. Things like that. What would be my second favourite meal? I know this. Your second favourite meal? Uh, ooh. Um, what, 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 oh, what, wait there. What, yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, do yeah. I eat the most? <laughs> uh, oh, actually, I was thinking of something else then. But oh, really? I, I, I'll say your second and your third. Oh, go on then. Your second favourite meal is a chicken salad. I love a chicken salad. And yeah. your third favourite meal, I reckon, is a... Chicken katsu curry from Wagamama. Ooh, yeah. Oh, you love cakes. Yeah, I do love cakes. You love your cakes, your puddings, your biscuits. Okay, let, let's try and, like, guess, like, an individual, like, food item, not a meal, just, like, some, yeah. something or other. Like, I, I, I know exactly what Charlotte is. What? Chocolate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, in my wedding vows, I vowed... That I would always keep the flat stocked up with chocolate. <laughs> I, pro- yeah, I, 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 I promise. I, I promise to always keep 
this place stocked up with enough chocolate. I have broken that promise a couple of times by accident. Sorry, I'll forgive you. But on the whole, like I've been good, really, haven't I? What foods do I hate? Oh, what foods do you hate? Your most hated food of all time <laughs> is blueberries. The dreaded blueberries. Oh, they're, they're just the evil of this world, I think. Just the look of them, the texture, the taste. Oh, no. And yeah, I eat blueberries every day. But I, like, hide them at the back of the fridge <laughs> <laughs> so Charlotte doesn't have to see them. I think your most hated food is got to be meringue. Oh, yeah, yeah, meringue, yeah. Meringue. The reason I hate meringue is because I've got sensitive teeth and it's the tech, like, the taste is fine, it just tastes like sugar, but it's the texture of it. It's, it's, it's for me biting into a meringue is the equivalent of somebody like scratching their nails down a chalkboard. That's what it feels. It makes me go like sends shivers through my spine. Like see, that's how I feel about blueberries. It's just ooh. Yeah, I mean they are an odd texture. Blueberries and taste. I like them. the look of them. Why would you put that in your mouth? <laughs> okay, here's a good one. If you were one of the Disney princes and princesses, who would you both be? Ooh. I, I I know. I, oh wait, there no. It's one of two for Charlotte, I reckon. Well, I'm gonna say, if Charlotte was gonna pick any of them, it would be the Little Mermaid, Ariel. Yeah. I'm glad I got that right. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was in and out between her and Mulan, because Charlotte loves the songs oh, from Mulan. Yeah, I, I love I love the songs from Mulan, but. Oh, yeah, I would much rather be Ariel. Yeah, because you... Is it Ariel, not Ariel? I said Ariel. Oh, I thought it was Ariel. No, I think you're right. I, I, I said Ariel because I'm used to watching Ariel Helwani do the UFC talk and stuff. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, but he's a guy. That's, that's a male. That's a male It's slightly different. So Ariel from uh, The Little Mermaid. Oh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think who your favourite. Hmm. Um... Yeah, so I think your favourite Disney film is Aladdin, so I, yeah. I would have said that one. Yeah, I, I would probably go with, with Aladdin as well. <laughs> is it a good one? Why is Charlotte so pretty? <laughs> <laughs> if you had a theme song play whenever you entered a room, what song would it be? Are we thinking of our own or guessing for the other one? We'll think of our own because I don't think... We've never discussed this, so... <laughs> Because I, I was going to say for you, is it that's on the um, you and Carl, like the final countdown? Oh, yeah. I do like the final countdown. But no, if I could choose, I probably would have um, Carmina Burana by Carl Orff, which is the da, 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 you know, the the, the one on X Factor. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's really epic. Isn't it? Um, oh, I, Fortuna. I mean, obviously for me, it would have to be like... So Tina Turner is simply the best. I think that's a good one. <laughs> but actually, there was a song playing when Charlotte entered the room on the most important day of our lives. And that was our wedding day. And that song was Dearly Beloved by Yoko Shimamura from Kingdom Hearts. That was actually the music that you worked on the aisle to. Yeah, because yeah, Kingdom Hearts is I think my like top three like favourite video game of all time. So... And it's a nice, like, romantic song. Yeah, really romantic sounding song. And even the title of it, Dearly Beloved, that's, like, related to a wedding. Yeah. So, yeah, you did actually have that happen at one point. So that is your yeah, official yeah. your official theme song. Yeah. Actually, I think you did suggest before that of having Tina Turner play as you worked <laughs> on the aisle, simply the best. <laughs> Okay, guys, that is it for now. Uh, thank you so much for all of your excellent questions. We didn't get to all of them, unfortunately, so we're really sorry about that. And there were a few questions in there that were more episode related, uh, which we didn't answer today, but maybe I could answer those in a separate video where it's just me talking, because uh, I'm sure Charlotte doesn't want to uh, hear me talk about episode for the whole time. So, uh, yeah, thank you again. And uh, I would love it if you guys subscribe to Charlotte's channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Charlotte Palmer Evans. And we will actually be doing a video for Charlotte's channel very soon in which I will be actually applying Charlotte's makeup. It's going to be good. Wish me luck. So thanks again for watching, guys. And we will see you very soon over on Charlotte's channel. Peace. Basic bitchin' and his finest. Meow, 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 meow.